Hello, my name is Raymond Winters. And I am the co-founder of Sir Jason Winters Herbal Tea. Our tea is a unique blend of three herbs my father formulated after being diagnosed with terminal cancer in March of 1977. My father embarked on a worldwide search to find these herbs, finally finding them, each one in the United States, Singapore, and Europe. Each of these herbs have been known to fight cancer in their own right. Out of an act of desperation on a Wednesday morning, 1977, my father finally mixed the three herbs together, thinking that he had nothing else to lose. He confounded the medical professionals by going into remission. Although we do not make any health claims for any of the herbal combinations or teas that we sell, we simply provide the tea exactly as my father used it. I'm truly convinced that herbal tea is what allowed my father to remain in remission the rest of his life. Today's Winter's products are now sold worldwide via the internet and in 22 countries via Soul Agency. The one thing I absolutely love about my job is that it allows me to travel. I get to do jujitsu and I get to surf. I've got to meet so many wonderful people in so many countries and spread the word of my father's dream and the power of the tea. They say that death is an appointment we all have to meet. I know this firsthand after watching my father pass away two weeks before Christmas in 2004. After my father's passing away, I felt a great loss, a profound void in my life. And I struggled for a little while in limbo, looking for something else to fill that void and trying to attain balance back in my life. That's where I found Jiu Jitsu. At 44 years old, I mustered up enough courage to walk into Sergio Pena Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy. Before I started, I looked Sergio straight in the eye and I asked him, at 44 years old, do you think I'm too old? He looked at me and laughed and said no. Had he said yes, I would have walked out of there. I take the mental game that you must obtain when you're practicing Jiu Jitsu and I take that into my personal and business life. The mental game is believing in yourself when you think everything is against you and you still can find the will somehow to fight and come through. So that's how life goes sometimes. You can be on top of your game and still lose. You can think that things are gonna turn out bad and you can still win. In my life, I always have a lot of irons in the fire. I've failed many more times than I've ever succeeded, but Jiu Jitsu has taught me to never stop trying, never underestimate my opponent, whether he's on the mat or across the table. Always judge people by their actions and not how they look. You have to ask yourself, are you willing to pay the price to win? Are you willing to go on a diet? Are you willing to cut weight? Are you willing to put everything you have into the match? And you can say that with life and business as well. How far are you willing to go to succeed? How far are you willing to go to get your dream? My father never stopped at anything. My father simply pointed his boat ahead and continued on. And that's the way I like to live my life. And I believe Jiu Jitsu has taught me that. I believe my father would be very happy with me that I attained my black belt and I am stuck with Jiu Jitsu. He supported me in anything I ever wanted to try. I'm not quite as adventurous or a daredevil like my father. My adventures really span to practicing Jiu Jitsu, but I would like to retrace his steps and Sir Alexander Mackenzie's steps and go down the Mackenzie River by a canoe, exactly as my father did. In 1985, my father was knighted, inducted into the Order of St. John of Jerusalem, Knights of Malta. The Queen of England and Prince Charles are also in the order, as was Nelson Mandela. My father worked his entire life to be a knight and a sir. And for an Englishman, it's a great honor. I always thought I was a disappointment to my father, like most sons think or feel. But six months after my father passed away, I received a letter from the order Shortly before my father died, he sent them a letter nominating me to be a Knight Commander of Grace. February 2012, I flew to Malta to have the ceremony. The same man that inducted my father and knighted my father came out of retirement to knight me. This is the same gentleman that defended Malta against the Nazis during World War II. Being a knight is important to me. It's something that I carry with me throughout my whole life in a code of conduct and how to live your life. I believe that we each have a responsibility to our own selves 
to look after our own body. We have a responsibility to be healthy. Ultimately, it's up to you to take control of your life. It's your responsibility to ensure that you stay healthy, whether in sport or anything else that you want to do. I'd like to thank you all for watching our little video. If you'd like to know more information about Sir Jason Winter's herbal tea, myself or my father, please log on to SirJasonWinters.com or follow us on Facebook.